if we had this idea, let's actually build a prototype 5G network that is completely cloud native, built with open source components, and then let's demo it live in front of 12,000 of our closest friends. We started this project way back, about two years ago, um, as part of the OPNFE community. Um, and the original goal was to create a blueprint uh, for central office uh, with as many open source components as possible. Then when we came down to the third one, especially the 5G one, uh, while the platforms in the Linux operating system and the Kubernetes tools and all of those things were available as open source, obviously some of the network functions uh, were not available as open source. That's the fabric that you see inside that's with blue lights, software defined fabric. Here's the millimeter wave radio, the 5G radio, and that's the Faraday cage, and that's the phone inside there that's actually 5G. We were interested in actually enabling as part of the platform, making it available to people so that they can onboard their VNFs and test it. So that was our, our prime motivation, to ensure that the platform is ready for commercial deployment. And this was a fantastic exercise for us to go experiment, work, with a community of people, with a community of partners, to see, does it really work? Yeah, we're dialing. All right, cross your fingers, everyone. We are up here without a net, doing a 5G call over a prototype cloud-native network. <laughs> there you go, there's a call that came in. Let me just accept that call. I got the call accepted. Let's start the video feed. Yay, so that video you can see is coming from the Faraday cage. That was a live 5G call connecting across public and private clouds, connecting to a packet core in Montreal, an IMS core in the public cloud, and uh, an LTE lab in France. Bringing that many people together is obviously, a, it's a logistical challenge. You know, we had lots of conference calls, we had uh, lots of discussion over email, we had multiple repos where people were contributing on code. But really, I think it's because, you know, we believe, and obviously the participants in this demo believed, that the power of this many people working to make something happen is always going to be greater than the power of one. We are trying to try out the cloud-native 5G to see how these uh, fantastic technology could bring us, to, could bring the benefit for the new 5G network cloud. And we actually have, a, I think, quite good result. It is a proof of concept that telling us something could actually work and it could really repeat quite good, iterate a lot in quite a short time. It took almost four months uh, to build that uh, proof of concept. It was quite a complex uh, as we have many sites uh, across the world. Uh, the, we have more than 80 people working uh, during those four months on that from different uh, organizations, more than 14 organizations um, working on, on, the, on the proof of concept. We'd like to look at ONAP integration. I think that we'd like to look at making it even more real world. I think we'd like to see more CNFs in there. Also, we did identify a number of areas where we'd like to see the cloud native Kubernetes, uh, CNI, network service mesh, Multis. You know, those are all projects within CNCF, the, the cloud native computing foundation. Uh, I'd like to see those upstream changes be integrated and like to see us sort of show how we're able to go from A to B with that new code that uh, the entire cloud native community has developed in partnership with us. Bringing together people from 15 organizations, from three continents, multiple countries, multiple companies, multiple open source organization technologies, we were able to come together and build a prototype 5G network that is fully cloud native and actually demonstrate it. You can't do this in a silo. You can't do this on your own. This is the power of open source. We dream big, we build amazing stuff, and most importantly, we do it together.